welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. What we're going to make this time is going to be rigatoni with sausage and so much more. Okay, we're going to use the rigatoni noodles, the andouille sausage, that's diced up tomatoes, the bell peppers, I've got the red, the orange, and the yellow in there. That's a yellow onion, that is green onions. Philadelphia cream cheese, Parmesan cheese, garlic salt, and the Queen Mrs. Dash. And no, I'm not going to use garlic this time. I'm going to leave it out. I'm going to get set up. Oh, forgot about the extra virgin olive oil. We're going to get set up. I'm going to get everything ready. This is everything that you need. Let me bring that so you can see that. There you go. Everything you need for this meal. I'll be right back. All right, I've got the sausage and the skillet. Now, I will say this, and I probably should have recorded it, but I do take this casing or skin, whatever you want to call it, it's casing, off of the sausage because I don't want to be chewing like I'm chewing beef jerky. So I take the casing off of the sausage. So I'm going to turn the uh, stove over here on to a medium-high heat. We're going to... Go ahead, and I also broke it up into pieces, you know. Just take your wooden utensil and just break it up. Just break it up like that. Just break it up, okay? That's all you got to do. Just break it up into pieces. You know, you can break it down as much as you want or as little as you like. We're going to put some olive oil in here because we're going to get this sautéing, okay? And in with that, we're going to put in some garlic salt. Okay, and then we're also going to use the queen. Everything tastes better with a little bit of Mrs. Dash in it. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead while this is sauteing. We're going to also put in those bell peppers, the orange, the red, and the yellow. Okay, and then we're also going to put in that onion. And we're going to just let them all cook up together, okay? So we're going to let this go for about 10 to 15 minutes. And I'll come back and let you see what it all looks like. Aren't those colors gorgeous? Look at that. Isn't that pretty? And we've only just begun. All right, I'll be back. Also, I should say that while this is cooking, have your water boiling for your noodles, okay? So my water's already boiling. It's about ready. Like I said, this is not going to take but about 10 minutes to cook because the sausage is already done, okay? So we're just sauteing this stuff up. I'll be back. Okay, this is 15 minutes of cook time with the sausage. I'm going to drain my pasta, and then we're going to go to the next step. But this is what it should look like after 15 minutes of cooking if it's not then give it another five minutes if yours does not look like this and you do not have that browning going on okay if yours has not made it to this consistency cook it for another five minutes this is the consistency that you want okay this is 15 minutes of cook time for me all right i'm going to drain the pasta and then we're going to go to the next step i'll be right back all right, here we go. There is our sausage, bell peppers, our onions, right? A little olive oil. Now what we're getting ready to do is add all of that pasta. And there's a little pasta water in that. That is just fine. Okay. We're going to incorporate all that. Look at this. Look how delicious that is. Now we're going to add a couple of more things to this, okay? Just a few more. Just a few more things. Here we go. We're going to put in some of this cream cheese. I'm just going to kind of pinch it and put that in there. So I guess that might be about an ounce. And we're going to do the same thing with this Parmesan cheese, okay? I'm going to put a few good little dollops of that. You want to save some to garnish on top. And this is a six ounce bag. Okay. We're going to stir that in. 
let that stuff melt on down let it do what it do and this is probably going to take us about five minutes so i'm just going to stir get that all incorporated let that cheese get to melting and then we're going to add one more ingredient i'll be right back we're going to just let this melt okay i'll be back okay i've only been mixing this up for i would say three minutes it hasn't been that long it hasn't been five minutes i'm just going to go ahead and add the not quite the final because we do have a little varnish that we're going to put on top but look what we're going to add to that tomatoes tomatoes we love you tomatoes okay we're going to add that and we're going to incorporate that in there look at that you got your cream cheese you got your parmesan you got your sausage yummo look at that i'm gonna make a plate show you what it looks like all plated up i'll be back look we did it again i put a little bit more parmesan on top in the green onions we did it doesn't that look delicious don't you want to bite wish you could smell it because this kitchen is oh my goodness all right well thank you all for watching i appreciate it if you could please like share and subscribe everybody be blessed please please stay safe out there and i'll see you on the next one bye bye